Welcome and thank you for joining Kwong's tutoring, SAT practice test number four. We're going to go over the first couple questions to see what the SAT questions are like. So here we are at module number one, section two, the math section. Uh, remember for this, for this section of the uh, SAT, use of calculators is permitted for all questions. Also, please be sure to remember uh, to be familiar with these uh, formulas for their, some of the questions in the in this section may depend on your knowledge of these formulas. Okay, let's look at question number one. Question number one says, a group of students voted on five after school activities. The bar graph shows the number of students who voted for each of the five activities. How many students chose activity number three? So we start off by highlighting what are we asked to do? And that is to find the number of students who chose activity number three. If we look at the graph here, to the left we see that those are the number of students. And along the bottom, we said this is the activity. Okay, and we're interested particularly in this column here, activity number three. And we see that at the top of this column, uh, lies within this range here, so it's less than 40, greater than 35. So our answer should be less than 40 and greater than 35, which means it can't be A, can't be C, can't be D, so our answer must be B, 39. Continuing on, question number two. Question number two says, what percentage of 300 is 75? So again, we look at this, we break it down. What percentage? Well, that's the same as saying X. Since we don't know what the percentage is, it's an unknown, so we'll give it a, we'll call it X. Uh, in reality, you could use whatever letter you'd like. You could use A, B, C, D, F, M, J, but traditionally mathematicians will use the letter X. And so we'll say X of, in this case here, is multiplication uh, 300 is means equals and then we have 75. So now we have an equation and we're trying to solve for x. Whenever we have an equation and we're trying to solve for x, we divide, we want to get x by itself. So in this case, we're going to divide both sides by 300. By doing that, the 300s cancel out and then we get 75 over 300, which is 1 over 4 or 25%. So answer A. Question three asks, what is the solution to the given equation? And here we have x squared divided by 25 is equal to 36. Again, just like in the previous example, when we have an equation and we're trying to solve for x, we want to get x all by itself. So here we're going to take both sides, multiply it by 25. The 25s will cancel, and we're left with x squared is equal to 36 times 25. And then here we're going to have x squared is equal to 900. And then we're going to take the square root of both sides. And we get x is equal to plus or minus 30. How do I know that that's the correct answer? Well, if I take 30, I'll multiply it by 30, that's going to give me 900. If I also take negative 30 and multiply it by negative 30, that's also going to give me positive 900. So my answer is either going to be positive 30 or negative 30. Looking at my answer choices, I don't see anything negative, so the answer must be positive 30. And the last question for this video, we're going to look at question number four. And question number four says, three more than eight times the number x is equal to 83. Which equa equation represents this situation? Three more can be written as plus three. Eight times the number x is eight times, which means multiplication, x. And then it says is equal, so that we have equal and 83. 
then this is the answer that we're looking for. So that's not A. Answer B does not look like that. Answer C does not look like that. Answer D looks exactly like what we're looking for. Okay. So these were the first four sample questions on a practice SAT test. If you'd like to see more of these, check out our other videos. If you would like some additional help with your math SAT, you can check out our website at www.ktutoringnow.com. Again, that's www.ktutoringnow.com. Uh, thank you for joining us for this video, and until next time, have a blessed day.